Hey everyone, welcome back to Dan's How To Videos. Today's video is going to be on personal hotspot and mainly the disappearance of personal hotspot on your iPhone. Um, personally, when I was using this on iOS 5, I had personal hotspot disappear on me and I couldn't get it back. I couldn't figure out what was going on and when I upgraded to iOS 6, everything came back and everything was fine. But since the upgrade to iOS 6.1 and mainly iOS 6 and on, a lot of people have been complaining about the disappearance of hotspot. So what I did was a ton of research and I've gone through a whole pile of different ideas and I'm going to go ahead and show you guys all the different fixes that people are using and what's the best technique and hopefully one of these will get you hotspot back. So let's get started. So it seems like the personal hotspot issue is pretty common and this actually happened to me once I lost my personal hotspot back on iOS and the way I got it back was I went to general I went to cellular over here and I went to personal hotspot via this section and I turned it on this way now some people are saying that it's not even in this section either now there's a couple of tricks and tips that I'm gonna give you hopefully some of these will work I can't guarantee they're gonna work because they're hit and miss and you also need to understand that some carriers like AT&T and Verizon Sometimes they ask you to pay a separate fee, like $20 extra on your plan. So before you worry and freak out that your personal hotspot is missing, make sure that you don't have to pay extra on your plan. Anyway, let me try and give you some of these tips and hopefully they work for you. So the first tip is resetting your phone. So what you need to do is go into your settings, go to general, and take it down to the bottom and hit reset. Now what you wanna do is reset the network settings and when you do that, it should reset everything and hopefully bring back your personal hotspot. Another thing that people are trying and have found some success with is resetting your phone. So what you do is you hold the home button and the power button together and once the phone turns off and you see the Apple logo, then let go. going to reset and turn the phone back on and you should see your hotspot back if it did work. If it didn't, move on to the next step. Now another issue uh, people are reporting is that the Onavo Extend app, which is a data saving app, it's that one right there, is causing some problems with some users. Now this is an app that actually installs a VPN on your phone. So if you have it installed, you'll see it says VPN, it should even say it at the top right there. But you want to turn that off or better yet, delete the app and see if that works. Also if you go to general and you go to VPN, there's some more settings you can try to disable and uh, get this thing removed and it'll hopefully bring back your personal hotspot. If it doesn't, move on to the next step. All right, so now we're moving into one that I actually found grayed out my personal hotspot, and this is actually turning your cellular data to off. If you have your cellular data off, for some reason, your personal hotspot's not gonna work. So you wanna go into your settings, go to general, go to cellular data, turn that back on, and then you'll see you'll get the personal hotspot feature back on down there as well, as hopefully it pops back up for you on your main screen of your settings. If that doesn't work, move on to the next step. Now, as I was researching for the fix for the problem, I found one that was a little bit confusing to me, but it might work for some carriers. Some carriers require you to have some type of carrier setting. So if you go into general, go into cellular, and then around the cellular data area, apparently there's a cellular setting that may be there, and you might have to put in your cellular network or select internet tethering or something like that. This might be uh, something you might want to discuss with your carrier if it is not fixing the problem. But anyway, that might be on this page. If it's not, then the next step, unfortunately, is doing a full restore on your iPhone. So of course, you're gonna have to plug it up to iTunes and try restoring the software. Now, if restoring the software doesn't work, then you really need to call your carrier and Apple at the same time. Call Apple, they'll probably transfer you over to your carrier. Once the carrier gets in touch with you, they're gonna send you back to Apple. Once you get to stage two of support on both your carrier and Apple, there seems to be a fix for the problem. And for what I'm reading, AT&T fixes the problem on stage two of the support. So something just happened there. Anyway, um, keep that in mind, guys. Hopefully this helped you. Let me know in the comments if this fixed your problem or if it didn't. And if it didn't, let me know what's happening exactly with your particular problem. I'd love to go into it and research it a little bit more because this is interesting. It's almost like a phantom disappearance of the personal hotspot. And because it happened to me too, I know how frustrating it can be. Anyway, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this. Thumbs up if it helped you out. And uh, if you liked the video, also subscribe for more tech videos as well as more how-to videos. Thanks for watching. I will see you in the next one. Thank you.